chose cornea uh, not by you know my choice in in fact it was an accident and uh, how what happened was during my ms in medical college rohtak i was learning things which were very old and i realized that the skills i am picking up are not good enough for me to practice i or often was for next 40 years therefore i looking for enhancing my skills then one of my friend old there is a institute called lv prasad i institute in hyderabad just now it has opened two years back you come and do a cornea fellowship i asked what what do you mean by cornea fellowship he said dekho wo aise hi bolte hain cornea ke baad fellowship hai lekin isme acha cataract seekh loge cataract acha aayega to kama paoge so i just went there for an interview and i got selected and that's how i landed up in cornea in lv I've been in Konya now almost 25 years, and the daily kick I get is by doing excellent Konya surgeries. Especially when some of my patients tell me how it has changed their life. For me, it is just a corneal transplant, but for them, it's a new world. It's a life-changing surgery. Like one of my patients from Dehradun, she underwent a surgery under, uh, for keratoconus corneal transplant several years ago. Whenever she comes, she'll bring a gift. I tell her, "Why do you do that?" She said, "Doctor, you don't know what you have done." After my marriage, I've seen, I started seeing how my husband looks, how my kids really look, how is the nature all around me. You know, it's a life-changing experience for me. So, on daily basis, doing these things makes me very, very happy. Other things, teaching. I really love training the cornea surgeons for the future. and third kick i get is by you know trying and discovering or researching new technologies like now currently i am doing liquid cornea uh, for the corneal surgery like what i have worked on last 20 years the limbal stem cells now i feel the liquid cornea is something which is going to change how we uh, practice cornea in future what traits makes me so successful i really don't know what traits maybe others can see in me what i know is there are few things that i begin to understand about myself and one of them is that i can live with unpredictability uncertainty very well what it means like i will take up a surgery if the patient needs and if i believe that it's going to make a difference whether it's going to work or not i don't know but i do take those things secondly i think i'm very open and i i'm very inclusive whether it's my patient may my fellows i talk to them share with everyone whatever the excitement i have i share with them i am generally very positive person and i do not have any kind of guilt uh feelings even if the things go wrong i feel bad temporarily but then i come out of it very quickly and i think it's very important for a surgeon to have very quick decision making and I'm, that is something i can say it's i'm gifted i just make those decisions very quickly during surgery or without the surgery challenges well life is full of challenges where to start where to end anyway i'll count few of them first i uh, challenge i had when i joined lgp there were six cornea specialists way back in 1998 when i joined I was the seventh one. So you know, most of the surgeons said, "Doctor Sangwan, what you will do? We don't have enough work for us. What is that area you will work on?" I said, "Well, you don't worry about. I will not get into your way. I won't do any surgeries which you are doing. So what you do is the patient which you don't want to see in your OPD, please send it to me. The surgeries which you think there is uh, there is no value, please refer those to me. What I end up seeing." patients with chemical burn steven johnson ocp moran jalsar very bad vkc and i i am very glad that today after 20 years each of them have excellent uh, techniques that we have developed and we have made life better for them another challenge i started using immunosuppressives for my ocp patients my uh, you know vkc patients systemic steroids so some of the patient would come back and say doctor saab aapne bataya nahi mujhe to cancer hai aur aap anti cancer dawai de rahe ho then i'll cancel them therefore this is not cancer this is a new treatment 
even within LVP, I was criticized that I am using very toxic medicines for treating patients and where the diagnosis is also not very clear. Third challenge I think is more important is people in general not accepting or not realizing the values of technologies. So sometimes when you are ahead of time, it is difficult for you to uh, you know convince. But I think what you have to do is just do it and communicate it properly. If I have to do uh, or live life again, what specialty I will choose? Well, it will be cornea, but this time by choice. But more important than uh, choosing one specialty over other is, I think what you do within the specialty, that is what matters rather than which specialty you choose. So I believe that if you choose any specialty, but you make a difference, you should start asking question, what is that I am going to do within this specialty rather than what the specialty will do for me? How I am going to make a difference? My suggestion is go after something which everybody says is difficult to solve or there is no treatment. You must find, go after that. At least you have 20, 30 years to work on it. So that's my major reason that I would choose cornea because there are so many other uh, problems which I think I will not be able to solve in lifetime so I would do it in again all over again and find a uh, solution for which are uh, treatment of cornea which are incurable conditions currently. So my advice to all of you is don't get uh, you know entangled in the mind about decision making. Go with your gut feeling. What is that you like? And once you like it, go give your life to it and make a big difference. And that's what is going to matter at the end of the day and at the end of your life. Thank you.